Hey guys, thanks for coming to check out this video of an Art Nouveau styled letter E that I do in watercolour for a birthday card. So I'm doing this card today for my friend's baby's birthday. She's turning one. Uh, her name's Emmy, so it starts with an E. So I wanted to do something decorative that she could um, potentially frame and put up in her bedroom. So I'd already done a sketch of what I wanted to do and it was all very Art Nouveau styled with lots of flourishes and flowers. First I start with the map of the E. So I use a ruler to get in the shape and I'm using a five by seven inch card because that's great for framing. And next I am starting to sketch in all the flowers and the leaves, the petals, and most of them I keep to the shape of the E, but then in some parts I like to come off slightly to just give it a bit more shape and makes it a bit more interesting. I've been loving working with flowers lately and if these flowers look familiar to you, it could be from my mural that I posted a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I've done a giant mural on my lounge room wall using these kind of flowers. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below in the description box for you to check out. Took me a few tries to get this daisy into, or actually, what is it? It's a sunflower. Took me a few tries to get the sunflower working, but we got there in the end. And I'm just filling in the rest of the gaps with lots of little petals and intricacies. Now I'm going in with an art line. It's water resistant, so this will be a perfect outline for when I go in with my watercolors next. This one that I'm using is 0.1 mils. So nice and fine. And then later on, I thicken it up by going around some of the edges to give it more depth. So while we're watching me outline the rest of the flowers, I just wanted to ask you guys if there's anything that you want to see from me on my channel. Would love some comments and feedback on how you're enjoying it or not enjoying it. If you've got any requests or if, you, if you're liking this, I can always do more letters. Just please let me know in the comments down below. So after completing the outline around all the sketch, I clear away the lead pencil and then move on to the watercolour. I'm using a watercolour brush for this one, uh, which I haven't used that often, but it's, it was very handy for this, did the trick. I chose to use purple shades um, for this, just wanted to keep it very um, soft, like a soft palette, and I was also keeping in mind the theme of her bedroom, so I wanted to use purple berry sort of shades which ended up um, yeah, looking really nice. And I just kept them nice and light by using a fair bit of water in with the paint. You can see my very fancy palette on the side that I'm working with, which is actually just a piece of watercolor paper. And I'm just trying to mute them as much as I can by adding more water. This brush is weird. You kind of squeeze it in the middle and it brings out more water onto the tip of the brush. So if you're not used to watercolors, it's a great way to, um, to start because it's quite easy to get a handle on. And you don't have water splashing everywhere. Now, after using the purple shades, I wanted to add a little bit of, of like a pop of color. I felt like it was looking a bit flat. So I used a slightly more orangey tone to bring out some of the other flowers. And then I think it starts to come to life. Now I'm using the same fine liner to go around areas to give it a bit more dimension. Um, this is where it really pops because you get that variation in it and I don't know why it works but it almost acts as a shadow and just makes the, the whole thing come together, the whole piece. It now works and I'm happy with it. So this is the final piece and luckily my friend really liked it and she has already framed it on her wall, which is a great outcome. Uh, if you liked this, please give it a thumbs up down below. And if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe to the channel. I give out um, art videos and tips every week. Um, and please leave any comments or feedback that you have down below. Thanks for watching.